Well, here's the next case uh, I want to show you in my series of keeper cases of things I've chipped. And uh, this one's a good one. Uh, I didn't realize how many cool things were in this until I uh, pulled this case out and started looking through. And um, I remember all these points. And the real surprise was as I pulled this case out, I found one more behind it, which I was surprised to see because I didn't realize <laughs> that there was one back there. And that's got some even cooler pieces with, which I'll probably share next week but let's get started on this now what's neat about this case is you'll notice right here in this corner this is all Onondaga chert and boy there's some really neat ones here look at this Lavana now this is thin and that's how they were and I can't believe how well that worked and that I got that because I'm always trying to make those Here's a classic Susquehanna Broadpoint, also super paper thin, made out of Onondaga chert. And you know what that shows you is that Onondaga chert, as tough as it is, um, if you get the real good variety of it, um, higher grade, you can work that down as nice as anything. This one here is a Capina. Now I know some of you guys, like in Tennessee and, and uh, that area, would recognize this one. And uh, Capina is really nice and I love these tips that they sometimes had on them so there's a dandy right there old flint spall will like get his hands on that one now here's a hardened point I don't know if they ever made hardened points out of Onondaga but I know I did a few of these and that came out pretty doggone good it even got a little kind of a quartzy area in the middle of it and again this is just as thin as can be and um, I think I was a better napper than, than I am now. I think I've kind of lost some of my ability. Just uh, You get older and things just don't seem to work the same. I don't need to tell all of you that. Here's a, uh, a Burlington. I'm not sure, like an Eden style maybe. I made this one in 2013, I believe, on that one. So this is 10 years ago. This case pretty much represents my work about 10 years ago. I'd like to go back 10 years. Here's a real nice piece of like a the Flint River Jasper type material. Once again a harden and uh, that ended up in here. Look at this big agate basin style point. I got a visitor right here. He's checking things out this morning. How you doing buddy? He's a happy dog. He's 15 years old now and uh, you know he and I are growing old together. But uh, he just got over being really sick with some of the Hershey squirts. But we got him all back to normal. And he's just uh, hungry all the time. So back to the Arrowhead case. This is, again, pretty thin for the size of it. And it's a big blade. I'm not sure what that measures. But that's one of my bigger ones. And up here, I had a little padding under this. This is a Calf Creek style. And I made that out of Flint Ridge Chalcedony. Look at this. And again, these points were definitely thin. Thin to win. Yeah, my little guy wants attention now. So, um, this blade here is made out of raw Georgetown flint out of Texas. And I remember making this blade, and I was so proud of it because I love the percussion scars on this one. Look at this thing. It's a big one. And that, of course, was destined for a keeper case like this one. And you notice I kind of have a style. I like to make hardened points. I just love the look of hardened points. Look at this thing. The flake scars on this are phenomenal. So, again, thin. But I got a harden in here. I can't wait to show you because it's really a um, classic with some... Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's got some uh, beveling, but it was in the other case. I do have a Thieves style point with some good beveling on it. Right next to that harden was one of my very few um, tang knife style points and that's also made out of some Texas flint. I'm gonna take a break here real quick because I got a little guy I think is freezing. You know today's temperature as nice as it is out it went from being in the 80s a couple days ago and uh, to the uh, mid 30s that's what it is right now as I'm shooting this video. So he's probably cold, but uh, he's, he's okay, he's left now, so I'll, I'll keep going. 
Here's a really nice point. I don't know how well this is going to show. Need a lot of light. But this is Knife River. And I made this Graham Cave uh, type point out of this. And look at this stuff. Again, I got it down thin. Yeah, I think my ability to do this stuff has kind of slipped away from me. But, you know, I don't nap as much as I used to. And back then, as I've said before, I was a napping machine. Here's a pretty nice Snyder's made out of some Creek Burlington or maybe K County I think it might be K County and I think I see 2015 on that so that one's only eight years old got that material from Jim Redfern um, and he had a whole bunch of it and I loved working with it and it's got fossils in it it's just really neat stuff okay another hardened but uh, this one's made out of some I'm thinking Peoria shirt, maybe, maybe not. It looks like Burlington to me, but I could be wrong. I work so many different kinds of materials that are sim similar that I lose track of what I'm working with and just go with how well it works. Now, I do believe, and I remember taking a picture of this one, uh, this is some coral. Look at this, the translucency of that. Isn't that a beautiful piece right there? And, uh, that came out quite thin beautiful glassy material um, some of that coral I believe that I got from maybe Roy Miller or one of those guys but here's a beauty this is a Dalton I made using Flint Ridge uh, Chalcedony look at this thin as can be thin to win just beautiful material absolutely love this Dalton and I can see why it found a home here in the keeper case Another uh, Otter Creek style, but this is um, this is a form of obsidian. It's not Burns Green, but it was, I think, maybe some Mexican. I'm not sure what the obsidian source was. And here we have a railroad about a mile away from where I live here, and uh, that's the morning train going westbound that you hear in the background. It's heading towards Buffalo. Came out of Binghamton. Look at this. Isn't this neat? But that was another big point. I used to make a lot of big stuff. I guess that was kind of one of my goals was to be bigger is better, but you know, sometimes the smaller is pretty cool too. Another great looking Snyder's point. Look at that. And thin. And that's that's definitely Kia Cook. Look at all those red blotches and veins and stuff in there. I just absolutely love this point. Here's a uh, one of the very few Afton points I've ever made, and some of you guys in Missouri and around that area will recognize an Afton, because I know that uh, these are found in that area. I'm trying to think what the date is. That might be 2013 on that one. But uh, that one came out real good. And this is a big Thebes style. Now notice these bevels, you know. That's what they were uh, like. They were resharpened and they were beveled when they resharpened them. And so I was going for that look on this one, and that's how it turned out. And I believe that one's made out of Flint Ridge also. So let's see, did I miss any? Oh, I did miss one. Last but not least, this real nice kind of a Lost Lake style. Super paper thin, deep notches, just cool looking, and it's made out of Kia Cook. I really like that, and that one's got a permanent home here too. This is one, I, I think this was kind of my attempt at a Lost Lake, Dovetail, whatever. Um, made it in 2015. It, uh, it came out pretty good. It's not my best work, but it, it was good enough to get in this case. So, there's a look at another one of my keeper cases. And I got another one coming next week that I found behind this one that I didn't even realize was there. And that's got some pretty cool stuff, and it's just a little older than the stuff that I have in here. So, once again, I want to thank you for watching and, and hanging with me all this time. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this series. It's kind of helping me remember some of the things that I did in the past. And uh, that should be it for this video. And uh, if you like it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a comment if, you've, if you have time. And if you're not sub, please uh, consider giving me a sub. I'm, trying to build my numbers up a little bit higher but you know that's not all that important it's just important that you're watching 
So we'll catch you on the next one. Everybody be safe and well. Take care.